Welcome back, everybody, to another presentation of Universal Freemason Presents Masonic Symbols. Today we're going to talk about the mosaic tiles or the mosaic pavement in a, a Masonic Lodge. So if you've ever seen the mosaic tiles or mosaic pavement in a Masonic Lodge, uh, you, might, you might encounter the black and white squares either in the center of the lodge uh, near the altar and, and tapers are the three candles. Or this pattern of black and white squares may also cover the entire lodge room floor. This time we will study the symbolism of the mosaic tiles according to Albert Pike and from the, uh, from the Masonic Encyclopedia. And let's read from Morals and Dogma, Albert Pike. In Morals and Dogma, Albert Pike, writes, the ornaments of a lodge are said to be the mosaic pavement, the indented tessel, and the blazing star. The mosaic pavement, checkered in squares or lozenges, is said to represent the ground floor of King Solomon's temple. And the indented tessel, quote, that beautiful tessellated border which surrounds it, unquote, the blazing star in the center, is said to be, quote, an emblem of divine providence and commemorative of the star which appeared to guide the wise men of the East to the place of the Savior's nativity. But, Albert Pike writes, quote, there was no stone seen, unquote, within the temple. The walls were covered with planks of cedar, and the floor was covered with planks of fir, F-I-R. There is no evidence that there was no such that there was such a pavement on the floor of the temple. He writes, "There is no evidence that there was such a pavement on the floor of a temple or a bordering." In England, anciently, the tracing board was surrounded with an indented border, and it is only in America that such a border is put around the mosaic pavement. The tesserae, indeed, are the squares or lozenges of the pavement. In England, also, the indented and or de-inticulated border is called tessellated because of the four, because it has four tassels, said to represent temperance, fortitude, prudence, and justice. It is termed the indented trestle. But this is a misuse of words. It is tesserated pavement with an indented border around it. So what Pike is saying here is that there's, even back in his time, uh, there were some uh, notions that weren't true about what we see in the mosaic tile or the mosaic pavement. Uh, it has the four tassels. They're so it's rich in, uh, and it's very rich in symbolism. <clears throat> And it does have the four tassels, uh, which um, represents temperance, fortitude, <coughs> pardon me, prudence and justice. So when we enter the lodge room and see the uh, and see the four tassels, we should remember that these are uh, these are some characteristics that a mason should have, or a person uh, living a masonic life uh, should try to have: is uh, temperance fortitude, prudence, and, and justice. Those are four things that are characteristics that a person living a Masonic life should stand for. Um, <clears throat> we'll also see a little bit of Christianity in the middle of the, uh, uh, of the uh, mosaic uh, pavement. Uh, we see the blazing star, which is, supposed to, is, is representative uh, as an emblem of divine providence, um, or the star which appeared to guide the wise men of the East uh, to the place of the Savior's nativity. So those believing in uh, Christianity in a lodge room would see that. Others might see the star um, differently. Now remember that a symbol has many meanings. As many people that are sitting, uh, that are viewing a symbol, that symbol might have very many other meanings. Uh, somebody who might not believe in Christianity or, or the nativity story might see the five-pointed star as a representative of the second degree or uh, as the uh, blazing star 
um, the five points representing the five senses of man, and and or uh, you know or vi or something, uh, something very similar to that. Uh, so Pike is giving a fairly Christian uh, uh, interpretation of the star, but just remember that if Christianity is not your main guide in your spiritual path, that's nobody's business but yours. A and B, um, you can take that symbol and make it into what is more suitable uh, for you, so long as it's um, helping you to uh, create an energy within the lodge room of learning and uh, and respect. So, let's move on. Masonic Encyclopedia says that the mosaic pavement is an old symbol of the order. It is met with it is met with in the earliest rituals of the 18th century. It is classed among the ornaments of the lodge in combination with the indented tassel and the blazing star. Its part colored stones of black and white have been readily and appropriately interpreted as symbols of the evil and good of human life. And that's courtesy of the Ashlar Company, LLC, and it's from their MasonicEncyclopedia.com. So one, another view of the uh, Masonic uh, pavement, or the mosaic pavement in the Masonic Lodge, is the duality of mankind. It is within each of us there is ignorance and there is enlightenment. There is good and there is evil. We're capable of the best and we're capable of the worst. We're capable of mistakes and we're always seeking perfection. So when you see the black and white checkers, um, the checkered board there in the, Mas in the uh, Masonic Lodge, the mosaic pavement is, is representative of you. And if we were to take the blazing star as a symbol of mankind, uh, or humanity and put that right smack dab in the middle there as we see in this illustration uh, of the uh, good and evil representation that the that the mosaic pavement has to offer and surrounded also by um, by the four characteristics of a mason uh, in the uh, represented by the tassels we can see also a whole different view of what this mosaic pavement represents so we're mankind with our five senses smack dab in the middle of our uh, enlightenment and ignorance seeking perfection but making mistakes and trying to reach the characteristics of the four care trying to reach the four characteristics that we should be trying for in a, a masonic living a masonic life so as you can see this mosaic pavement has a lot more to it than meets the eye. Uh, very important to focus on that next time uh, you're in, uh, doing your rituals in a Masonic Lodge or uh, visiting a Masonic Lodge or doing your studies of ritual about Freemasonry. Uh, very deep in, uh, we're very very deep in symbolism and interpretations on this mosaic pavement. Uh, one of the most important symbols, I believe, in a Masonic Lodge, right next to the rough and perfect Ashlar, still a representation of humanity and human nature. Now let's move on. So, as I just mentioned, there's good, there's the good and evil in the human of the human psyche. Uh, we have to remember when we're speaking of duality. That human beings live in a state of duality always, flesh and spirit. Our highest aspirations often become muddled in our selfish tendencies. And these are things. And that point there is something to to focus on. Is uh, sometimes we give up. Sometimes we feel that we're hypocritical. Sometimes we feel that we're never going to make a difference. And I assure you, though. So long as we keep trying to reach our highest aspirations, and we will become an example to somebody else, and people will see us rise and fall daily. Uh, we will speak of our highest aspirations by, uh, <clears throat> and we will try to do our best 
but we will always, always fail to reach a hundred percent to our uh, to the highest aspirations that we that our ideals guide us towards. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing to feel guilty about. We're only human. We're only doing what we can try to do, uh, as long as we do it earnestly um, and try to be an example. That is what changes ourselves, and that is what changes society as we change ourselves one by one. Introspection and change might be the toughest work of anyone living a Masonic life. And the reason why that is is because it takes a lot of time and a lot of um, self-denial and a lot of knowing that um, our biggest liar, our biggest enemy, is our self-perception. When we realize that our self-perception is a constant liar to us, that we're never as good or as bad as we think that we are, there's always room for improvement when we have that, when we have reached that point of enlightenment. And as I mentioned, that as we change ourselves, uh, we also change society one by one. When more people start to change themselves for the better, when more people individually focus on changing their uh, from selfish to more giving and charitable behavior one by one we change society and uh, we may not live to see this change come about a uh, hundred percent but the point is is that we need to leave a society sight unseen that's better for the generation coming up behind us that is the true goal of a uh, Masonic person living a Masonic life it's not a selfish nature, it's not a selfish tendency to make society necessarily better for ourselves, but we start the path of uh, making it better for those to come along. I appreciate uh, your time viewing this presentation. Uh, I encourage you to effect a kind act whenever and wherever you are able. Always remember that your actions and my actions change the world. Please follow me on Twitter, at you Freemason, and please check out the website, universalfreemason.org. Uh, at universalfreemason.org and on the Twitter site, uh, you will find a lot of good content there, a lot of, uh, a lot of links to more Masonic educational materials. And I'm hopeful that you will uh, pay a visit and uh, click on those links. Join me for my study also every Sunday, MasonicMe.com. My name is Johnny T. Asher. I'm president and founder of Universal Freemason Research Society, and I really appreciate your time. Thank you very much.